it is Minority Mental Health Month. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So last month was Mental Health Month. Sorry. Correct. Right. So this month is Minority Mental Health Month. So what's... um. Obviously, like, it, they, they, there was a feeling of, like, we need to make this a special month for us. Mm-hmm. And and where do where you feel that need comes from? Well, here's a fun fact. Uh, Minority Mental Health Month was actually coined in 2008. Mm-hmm. So it's something that Whoa. I recently just started hearing about, but it's been in place that long. Mm-hmm. And even more shocking, mental health, Awareness Month was actually started in 1949. Mm. No way. So um, that's a long time ago. Yeah, yeah that's a big deal. And guy. I feel like lately you're just now starting to hear about people talking more about mental health and mm. so forth and so on. And to know it was shocking for me to find out that minority mental health was started in 2008. That was mm. so long ago where I, I'm just, you know, getting mm. more in depth into it. Mm. And it just kind of shows me that right now the climate in our society has changed. Yes. And we are kind of leaning more towards mental health awareness and mm. to find out that these things were in place for so long. Yeah. And we're just now finding out about it. It kind of gives me a little bit of hope to see that it's going to be, mm. you know, something that's more common. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because that definitely expands on the conversation overall as mm-hmm. society. Um, to see, yeah, 1949. That right. is 1949. that's a long time ago. Yeah. That's like, like um, that's 70 years this year, to be honest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if any of you are the same way, but like I've been feeling like all these, you know, new months or these new celebrations, these new you know days mm. have been popping up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And I honestly would have thought mental health month was a thing that happened within at least the last two decades, right. personally. But it shows you the disparity within that field. For mm-hmm. sure. Because you, you see like with certain instances where mental health isn't even discussed in, in um, you know, the black culture, but then, mm-hmm. you know, in white America, Influenza is a thing. <laughs> when I found out what influenza was, I was the so. <laughs> mad, bro. I'm like, what? I'm like, yo. So I'm like, you could be too spoiled and turn into a maniac. <laughs> yeah, Basically, get, where they you could use that as an excuse, mm-hmm. but you literally can't use the opposite. Like, what happens if you're too poor? That might make you do some weird shit too. Yeah, but For you sure. know, they just lock your ass up in jail. But anyway, mm-hmm. let me tuck my rage away. <laughs> tuck that rage yeah. back. Pablo Escovic. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Always. Always. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big deal because um I think mental health personally in gen- uh, I mean in general and like the minority but for us specifically black communities, mm-hmm. Caribbean communities, we don't put an emphasis mm-hmm. on mental health, what it means. There's not much of a conversation throughout the household or the communities of what mental health is mm-hmm. because we just look at life as, you know, like tribulation and trial. And yeah. so it's either you deal with it or you don't. And right. if you don't, then you're going to sink. If you do, you swim. Yep. And you gotta it's, be a, strong. it's a very straight cut forward way of looking at it. Or to throw this out there, a mm-hmm. question to, to each of you. To each of us, I'm gonna I'm I'm answer the question myself. What's something you learned um, along, you know, just along the journey of life that about yourself that you need to do in order to keep yourself, you know, um, you know, well, you know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. something that's like, mm-hmm. oh, you realize, like, oh, I'm someone that in, that needs blah 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 in order mm-hmm. to. You know, stay happy, stay yeah. rested mentally, and stuff like that. What, what's, what's that? Oh, you put me on the spot. Oh, oh, you on the spot. I can go first. Uh, I got, to. I got an answer, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, if you want to go first, you are definitely. So I would say for me, first. simply because I struggle with this a lot, so that's a really excellent question. Is the, I guess, the facade of being perfect. Mm. I want to make sure that I have everything done perfectly. And it could have a lot to do with my sign because I am have a little bit of control mm. here and there. But I feel like I've always wanted to strive mm-hmm. for the best. And it what has a lot to do. Yes. I'm a Virgo. Oh, and I'm a true Virgo. Ah, so I've always wanted to make sure that everything is perfect. Mm-hmm. So 
growing up and it had a lot to do with my rearing as well mm -hmm. i was a perfectionist when it came to school it came to anything and now in my life i realized that you know what perfection is it's it's not the end all be all right, right. there's going to be some days that mm -hmm. i may in my mind fall short of perfection mm -hmm. but it's okay mm -hmm. and i think that realizing that has mm -hmm. decreased a lot of my overall tension mm, right, and trying right. to you know make sure i check off this one thing like mm. make sure i check off all the boxes on my checklist yeah. like if i leave something off it's okay right like right. and i realized that and that's what i think that i've taken you know as growing up is that if you fall short it's not the end of the world right it's right. it's okay i know there's no such thing as perfection it's always constant growth exactly and development you know what i mean Maybe perfection would exist in a world where there were constant things that mm -hmm. existed, but nothing is nothing forever. Is no. So, um, yeah, that's a really good point. You know, not being too hard on yourself because you sometimes we create our own anxieties. Mm -hmm. I, I would even uh, absorb that into my answer. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> steal some of that. You can buy right. That's so real. Or, um, and more so just like, <clears throat> you know, being honest mm -hmm. with yourself, you know, fully. Like, mm -hmm. that's kind of hard. Yeah, you know, to it's easy to say, oh yeah, I've got this, I've got that, but then you what know, you hide something else that's you know, and or holding yourself accountable. But I mean, to answer your question, um, you know, what is something that I you're asking? What is something that we do, mm, do for mental health? Yeah, I, do or something that you've realized that smoke, know. baby. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hello, Ganja. Hello. Speaking of which, no, nah, this is this is a this is a prop weed. <laughs> Word, yes. Same shit they smoked on that uh, Pineapple Express movie. Word, <laughs> yes. That <laughs> nothing but the. <laughs> smoke real shit on that movie. <laughs> Word. They don't know that baby. <laughs> Word. No baby. Hey baby. Word, but that what do, that, baby? that is, that is true. A lot of people use like marijuana as like a. Well, that was a joke. That but, was my answer. But no, but then I, I I'm glad you brought it oh, up. That was part of it. Because we use we use these things. And sometimes it could be a coping mechanism. Yeah, I was going to say that they use it as a coping mechanism to mm -hmm. not have to deal mm -hmm. with the upfront issues. Exactly. Because as you know, it changes <coughs> your state of mind. One thing, it is everyone's body takes to it differently, but typically mm -hmm. it calms you down or yeah. it makes you like, you know, not worry about your problems. And a lot of people, mm -hmm. they have gotten so accustomed to that state. <laughs> Yeah. That they utilize it as a coping mechanism so that they don't have to be worried or stressed out. And they mm -hmm. know that when they're high or in their, they're in that state of mind mm -hmm. that everything's okay. They don't have to worry mm -hmm. about their problems in the forefront. So it right. can't, it's definitely is used as a coping method I was, for sure. I would definitely mm -hmm. piggyback on that because I can say it personally since we talk about being honest with ourselves, transparent. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> but in all honesty, I think we all can find uh, something in our lives that we maybe indulge in too much. For sure. You mm -hmm. know, too much of a good thing right. um, to where we don't, because balance is really <laughs> <Thank> you. <whoo. laughs> a file out with the bathtub. Right. Shout out. Get the tub in here. It's not a bathtub. Mm -hmm. So, the, the, whew, I lost myself. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. That's where we soak our thoughts. <laughs> but can it be used no. in a positive light yeah so the, all right so the point i was making was yeah some people will go and overindulge and that's where you got to decide what is too much for you exactly um and because then it can start to overflow and affect other areas and people in your life Word. and that's where being a responsible human being adult comes into play with you know taking advantage of substances that alter your uh, consciousness Message. i think um Word people i should be do 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 i forgot what i was saying <laughs> um, uh, but i guess to bring it back around and properly answer your question um you know aside from using you know things like cannabis which is more of an a, a something to inject you into that state of like i think cannabis i guess i'm going to make this point first i think cannabis puts you in a, a state of mind that for most people allows you to immediately handle whatever stress and anxiety is in front of you um in order to continue moving and that's what the w's like to call micro dosing <laughs> when you use a certain small amount mm. in order to you know deal with the day or you know whatever you see coming in front of you what you have planned for the day so um 
I think that may be a healthier way of using it, but that's mm. besides the point. I guess as far as, uh, because I didn't do that enough, <laughs> but as far as uh, mental health goes, I think me personally, uh, I would try to, I try to pay attention to my, what our parents would call hobbies, <laughs> you know, the things mm. that, you know, that we're really passionate about mm. that you may not have been able to realize into something monetary so like mm. that i might play my guitar but playing the guitar is super therapeutic i suck but mm. it's super therapeutic mm. for me you know you once you get a couple songs down mm. it feels the, the 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 textile feeling of strumming the strings mm. Mm. Uh, to the auditory stimulation you're getting mm. uh, to the satisfaction when it sounds right like there's a lot going on there so i think music in general or playing instruments uh, i would count as a as a way of taking care of myself True, true. I feel that. And um I mean to 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 add on your point, um, with with cannabis, I feel like people use a lot of things, you know. For whether sure. it's like a glass of wine at the end of the day mm-hmm. or television. Absolutely. Or, you know, all these things where you can overindulge in and you know, but I feel like the 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 it's all about balance, you know. For sure. You know, and 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 if in any anything you do, but um, yeah, that yin and yang, exactly. To but to to answer my own question for me, it's um solitude. Mm. Like over the years, I realized that like I need like to be alone, like for some time. That's what recharges me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like whether it's just me playing video games, reading a book, um, you know, just generally just vibing. Yeah. By myself, you know what I mean. Like I feel like that's that that's something that's needed. That's like your form of self care. Yeah. Like, like that's what you do to mm. kind of reset or recharge your battery. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. So self care is really big when it comes to mental health, mm-hmm. and um, self care is not like a cookie cutter type of term. Mm-hmm. It looks different for everyone. Like mm-hmm. my type of self care may be different from your type of self care. It's mm-hmm. basically what allows you to be able to kind of reprogram, Mm -hmm. like, you know, digress and kind of get yourself back to Mm -hmm. your state of equilibrium, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So, for for example, I was going to tell you, like, playing the guitar, that's your Mm self-care. You know, solitude. Which solitude is needed to do that. I'm telling you, like, that Mm -hmm. is all different forms of self-care. And a lot of times some people, they think that self-care is, um, you know, doing something specific or doing something Mm -hmm. that is popular or what mm-hmm. normal people do like a lot of people think like oh well everyone else journals let me journal that's my self-care mm-hmm. you may not like to journal that may not be your thing mm-hmm. you may like to watch mindless television mm-hmm. and just get you know your mind off of your regular day-to-day that may be your solitude. yeah everyone's yeah. self-care is different mm-hmm. yeah i definitely want to um if i could piggyback on that a little bit like that solitude factor of um the to get deeper on that is to say ask getting to know yourself Mm -hmm. searching within and like because if maybe you didn't have something you enjoyed growing up Mm -hmm. you might have just forgot there was something you were into Mm -hmm. and that solitude you take maybe just taking some silence to meditate Mm -hmm. like i started doing this very recently i did it as a kid yeah Mm -hmm. i did it in like martial arts when i was a kid but Mm -hmm. i haven't done that in this meditating in so many not sitting down mm-hmm. Indian style oh man that's that's not the right way to say that now right American. legs crossed Native American <laughs> style baby this is your land anyway <laughs> indigenous style I like that I said indigenous style you know hands on my lap I didn't do it you know I just kind of was relaxed kept my posture straight yeah. and I start you listen to your breath yeah mm-hmm. and then you try to let you li- try to hear your heartbeat mm-hmm. and if you do that for five minutes you can learn so much about yourself mm-hmm. and get going through the week mm-hmm. and um but that just i guess to give a tip to people who yeah. may not know themselves or you know are trying things or doing a lot of things and are busy but mm-hmm. don't feel like that busyness is fulfilling them mm-hmm. take a moment and just be still and quiet mm-hmm. and it might help you find within you know what i find mm-hmm. that's important is that how you start the day oh absolutely mm-hmm. Like True. You, you you do that you take that time to send yourself in the morning mm-hmm. yeah because you start the day off like I've I've noticed myself I start the day off wrong it it's a it's a trickle down effect yeah mm-hmm. definitely like I can I can 
definitely say like one point in my when I realized that how you start off your day really de- determines your day. Mm-hmm. For example, I remember when I used to work at another place and I would listen to a certain genre of mm-hmm. music. And mm-hmm. when I listened to that particular genre of music, like mm-hmm. I was on edge. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, you know what? N- you know, like very like, you know, if anyone messes with me, such, such mm-hmm. and such. But then if I listen to another genre of music, mm-hmm. I was like the happiest butterfly in mm-hmm. the world. And I realized that I had to check myself. I said, you know what? I can't listen to Vibes Cartel every day on my mm-hmm. way to work. Like mm-hmm. I can't. Right, right, right. Because it always made me feel like, you know what? I'm in a business where nobody offers like it right, really right. puts, puts it influences you. Yeah. It, it does, and yeah. it's it's as subtle as you think as your commute to work, mm-hmm. listening to a certain genre, mm-hmm. starting off your day really really pans out how your day is gonna go. Yeah. So I kind of try to, I try to if I wake up early enough, I'll be transparent. I don't do it every day, but I try to journal in the morning mm-hmm. once I'm drinking my tea, and mm-hmm. I do it like when no one is awake in the house, and mm-hmm. that I've noticed the days that I do do that. Mm-hmm. I have an easier, an easier day, yeah. a much easier day, comparison to just waking up and just like jumping in the shower, you mm-hmm. know, getting things together. When you kind of have a routine, mm-hmm. things work a little smoother for you. Yeah, man. Certain things get in the way, cause like, you know, certain what I've realized with my in myself, like certain reactions that I have. I'd have to check myself. I'm like, is this my ego reacting? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Is this my pride? You know, which is, you know, hand in hand type type thing. Very introspective. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Am I doing this out of anger? Am I being petty? You know what I'm saying? A lot of things it's like before I react to where it's like I wouldn't have these thoughts before. I would just react or do the thing. I would send that text. I would, you know, say that thing on social media I'd punch that guy in the face you know what yeah. I'm saying? just based on just <laughs> made pure emotion you know, yeah, yeah, doing, yeah doing what felt i needed in that moment but not really but you got to be careful when you're a black man on these streets man black for sure man. or a black mm-hmm. woman or a black woman <laughs> black people black people <laughs> Careful. Be careful in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> like, aside from making a podcast, our goal is to make a platinum record. Like, you gotta platinum RV. You word. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta <laughs> forgive us for breaking out yeah. a song yeah. every for, once in a while. Every, you know what I'm saying? Every twice in in, in so long. 